Okay, once you're on page 290, go ahead and just use those two line targets, please. So, settling the verb, underlining them down. So, that's the head stop. That's what we're practicing. Okay, so with this lesson, you folks are reflecting on what we learned in the first half of the unit. And you're identifying what the next and final EA is of your 8th grade English year. Really? All right, now right there are the learning targets. You folks have this making connections subheading. There's two items on the screen that are going to be highlighted. I want you to highlight them as well. Here's the first one. It's essentially a statement as to what we accomplished in the first half of the unit. You folks analyzed humorous text and you wrote about it. Now, the second half of the unit, you folks are sticking with the idea of humor, the elements of humor, high and low comedy. But instead of analyzing it as a writer, you're going to analyze it as a performer, and you're going to perform humor. So below that, we've got these two essential questions. Remember, these guys kind of dictate how an entire unit is structured. So your first essential question, I'm just going to have you highlight it so it pops up a little bit clearer. It's essentially asking you, what the heck did you learn about comedy in the first half of our unit? So take about a minute and a half. Answer that essential question best that you can. You don't have to write in complete sentences. And if you're stuck, you can always take a look at the two whiteboards that still have a lot of information about comedy and humor. Now, 20 more seconds to wrap up your thought there. Now, the second essential question is definitely geared towards the second half of our unit. It's asking what makes an effective performance of Shakespearean comedy. All right, but here's another question to consider, especially if you're going, what the heck does Shakespearean comedy mean? What exactly makes an effective performance of comedy in general? What do actors and comedians do in their performance that makes it funny? Just go ahead and write down what you know. Then you can make notes. It doesn't have to be a complete sentence. What is what the actors and comedians do in their performance that we know is effective and we know is comedic? Sure. 
Okay, they're going to exaggerate their facial expressions, maybe their body movements. Anything else? Yeah, Christian? Good. They have a lot of inflection. They're speaking with emotion. They're changing their voice. You know who's really good at that? Probably one of the best, I think, is Gabriel Iglesias. Yes. He does an amazing job with his voice and the sound effects he's able to make and how he gets the screechy high giggle. Oh my gosh, he does such a wonderful job at that. He's got that totally down to a T. All right, now, we're going to be taking this idea of performing, and we're going to move on to page 291. We're skipping the bottom half of 290. On page 291, it's about a quarter of the way down. You're going to see that heading that says Unpacking Embedded Assessment 2. And you're going to see the assignment. It is a single sentence. It starts with present. Could someone just read that for us? Go for it, please. Okay, so let's break it down by the verbs, the actions, what we're doing here. So what's an action that we see automatically? Yes, Santiago? Present. What exactly are we presenting? Same sense as the people? Yeah, Michael? What are you presenting in a signed scene? Something else I'm going to have you highlight too. It's in front of an audience. You're going to have a group of people watching you do that. There's another verb in there, though, too, another action. Yeah, Nicholas? Uh, demonstrate. demonstrate. And there's three things that we have to demonstrate. We have to demonstrate our understanding of Shakespeare, number one. We have to show our understanding of the elements of comedy, which you just learned, and the art form of performing. So there's a lot involved with this EA, but what makes it nice is that you've really practiced everything leading up to this point. So the last thing I'm going to have you do with your purple bookmark, if you haven't already, make sure your name is on it. And take those key ideas that we highlighted and paraphrase them, put them in your own words in the assignment box on your purple bookmark. Once you've got the assignment written, you can take the bookmark and flip it to the back side. And in your springboard, you're going to fast forward to page 313. That's where you're going to find the scoring guide for our performance. So how will our performance be graded? Like we've done in the past on page 313, you might want to go ahead and box in that exemplary column. Go ahead and number those bullet points so the concepts that the performance will be graded on. Many folks have done this numerous times before, so I'm not going to give you any more instructions since you've done it so much. Let's see how you folks do with about an eight minute time frame of working through this, unpacking of the concepts. You can work together, you don't have to do it alone. Let's see about eight minutes where you folks are at. Go for it. Okay. 